Hi everyone, today we have the Jackery 240 with the optional Solar Saga 6D solar panel. I got this from Amazon because I wanted to see how practical this would be for running on my sailboat. I don't have any offshore power for running small appliances. I also don't have a lot of room. I don't know much about solar power, how it works or how practical it will be for my needs. So this will be a learning experience. So the 240 came with a wall charger and a car charger. Came with this bag and it came with, I'm assuming our instructions. Yep, some instructions or something. The solar panel only came with this attached cord that I'm assuming goes into there. Like I said, I don't know anything about um, solar panels. So this is going to be my first attempt to use it in a practical situation. Okay, I see. Hold on a second, guys. I'll put you down. All right. So it's got these two little stand thingies. They're Velcroed in so you can Stand it up to charge if it gets the sun. This cable plugs into there and it will charge this thing. So I think the next step is I'm gonna get some some appliances that I want to try to run and see if it'll run all the appliances. But I want to plug this in and see how long it's going to take to charge. With one solar panel, I think it said like to 11 to 15 hours or something. If you get two um, solar panels and with an adapter, you plug the both of them in here. And it'll charge supposedly in like six hours or something like that. So we're going to test that out. So the first thing that I'm trying is running my laptop. It's already at 94%. It's only been running for like five minutes plugged in. Even though I wouldn't use it like that, I would charge the battery first and then um, use the, run the laptop off the battery. But I just wanted to see running a laptop how long this thing would last and it's already at 94 percent like i said it's only been like three minutes or four minutes so i don't know how long it would run it but definitely don't want to run it plugged in now if i'm just charging it the output is going down about 20%, I think. So charging it doesn't seem too bad, but running off of it, like let's say you there's something wrong with your battery on your laptop, or at least this specific laptop, um, gonna drain the battery fast all right guys so what we have here is a bunch of different items that I've tried to run with this Jackery 240 all right 
So I've had this thing for a couple weeks. Um, it's so far, it basically is a charger. You can charge phones, you can charge laptops, you can charge batteries, you can charge anything you want to charge, you can charge it with this thing, okay? Now, as far as running appliances, for example, that toaster, it's pretty, that's almost the same size as the Jackery. Will not work. Will not, as soon as, uh, it'll turn it on, and as soon as it starts warming up, it shuts off. This five horsepower portable vacuum cleaner so let's say you wanted to vacuum out your car or your van or your boat, will not work. It doesn't have the, the power for that. Air fryer, it'll turn it on. You'll see the lights, you can set the temperature, you can set the time, but as soon as you start it, it kicks off. Now, was what I was surprised with is the TV, this little 32 inch TV, smart TV, Roku TV. Um, it actually is running it. I'm able to turn it on. I'm able to log into my Hulu. And that's what we're going to try today to see how long I can run that TV for. Now, I don't have it. I don't have this thing charged all the way, it's only at 75%. As you can see there, okay. So it's not gonna be running from a full charge. It's only gonna be running at a 75% charge, but I wanna see how long I can watch Hulu with this 240. Mm -hmm. Watch the movie an hour and 46 minutes and it's, it only went down to 60 percent from 75 to 60 percent in almost a two-hour movie and it's still running so this is actually gonna use now we just gotta find some more stuff to uh try out with this thing so I'm gonna charge it to 100%. percent i want to find something else to run it, run with it and test that out. So I can definitely use this on a boat, RV, for camping, at least to be able to watch TV if I, could, if I have a Wi-Fi signal or a hotspot. <laughs> 